Hello, thank you for being with me for this new video. If you haven't done it yet, please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell. And um, we're gonna do our first Christmas cake. This last couple of tutorials that I have made for you were the basics, but I'm thinking, okay, let's put that on the side. It's not fun. Let's put that on the side, just like for now, but I will carry on. I will make you a full playlist of recipes to do your own cakes from scratch. And, uh, but in between, I will step out of that a little just to do something a bit more fun. So today we are going into our first Christmas cake. And in France, how do we say Christmas? We say Noël. So we are going to write Christmas in French with this. Well, I love that. I will look into it and ask them if you can get that abroad because um, it's really good. These letters are plastified, so when we have our cake ready, we can cut into it thanks to these letters. So they are really, really good. You can have the numbers, they do the numbers, they do the letters. And so this, since this trend is not going anywhere anytime soon, this is like the unicorn and the mermaid. We've had them for years and they're still around. So let's invest in some good um, equipment, let's say, for the one letter, to get this trend going. Because like, I think I will do more than one of these. Today I'm gonna do a red velvet and maybe next time I'll do like a biscuit with some cream or something. Well, I think I will use that more than once. And you can get, um, a code I will put it in the description box but I'm not sure again you can get that abroad so let's see how it works in the meantime what I'm gonna do is um, show you the recipe so if you cannot get that it's okay this is an idea you make it your own turn it into what you want make a star make a um, Christmas tree make anything you want from this recipe if you don't have that and if you don't want to have to explain to people that Noel means Christmas uh, there you go make it as, as you want so we get started with the red velvet then we'll do uh, the cream and then we'll go on with the decoration find the detail of the recipe in the comment box so here we have milk and vinegar here we have red food coloring, two eggs, 300 grams of flour, 300 grams of sugar. We have one pinch of salt, 10 grams of cocoa butter, unsweetened, 120 grams of butter, and 10 grams of baking powder. Start by putting the vinegar in the milk and then we leave it to rest. came out of the oven just now and to know if it's cooked you just need to press down a little and if you see that it rises back up then it means that it's ready So here what we want is to have 
the bag upright. Done. I'm going to take the cakes, the cakes in a second to show them to you. So that was an easy recipe. Basically, the ingredients I found out that what they have done is that they gave the recipe to divide in four, not just in two. So that's good because then you have enough like surface to do all the letters. You need to do two of each letters basically so and then whipped the cream whatever whipped cream, cream you want to use i didn't use the recipe i used the whipped cream ready like that with mascarpone in syrup like with mascarpone in that and so that um makes it a bit easier what you need the big secret like to have your whipped cream uh, not to mess it up is to have it really really cold so the bowl that i'm the bowl and the whip they were in the fridge since yesterday to make sure that they were they were really, really cold. Um, I think I'm going to pass on showing you and telling you what a mess I've made of this recipe. <laughs> but I figured it all out. I worked it all out. The end the result is right here. Hoping not to. There we go. No end. All right, so um, it works out well. I'm putting everything down in the description box. And again, if you have any questions, just ask them. So thank you for being with me again and see you soon for a new video.